Hello, my name is Tanner Oates. This is my internal electrostatic confinement fusion project. To reiterate what has been said in my old videos and other videos, this project uses internal electrostatic confinement to fuse an isotope of hydrogen called deuterium together. When the deuterons fuse inside of this, uh, inside of the vacuum chamber, he releases a neutron, and those neutrons are then detected to detect if actual fusion is taking place. So I will go into the, um, the finished hardware of this project right now, and the, uh, yeah, and then I'll have a uh, fusion video up tomorrow of uh, me actually making my first attempt towards fusion. So this is just a hardware video right now. To start off, this is the uh, insulated high voltage electrical feed through. The voltage going through this is uh, 45,000 volts at a negative polarity direct current leading into the fuser towards the uh, tungsten grid where the actual fusion takes place. This is a lead glass viewport to uh, protect from any x-rays that, uh, that would come out from any electrons colliding with the tungsten grid. Same with this viewport up here, just much larger, uh, better viewing for a uh, camera or a person if the fuser is operating in demo mode with no hydrogen. This is a uh, cold cathode inverted magnetron. Uh, for safety reasons, I used a cold cathode instead of a normal cathode because this does not heat up and reduces the chance for an ignition from the deuterium. Right here is the actual deuterium tank. Leads to a two-stage regulator valve. Regulator valve leads on a uh, mechanically formed bellow to the swage lock input on the conflat flange on the other side of this fuser, which is difficult to see. Uh, the gate, uh, the metering valve leading into the fuser is a needle valve and that controls a very precise rate of flow for the deuterium when it's, uh, when it's operating. Right here is the, uh, is the uh, vacuum control system right here. So this is a, um, a normal valve. This valve uh, is a vacuum valve. So you can shut it off to have just the same amount of vacuum continue in the fuser, or you can open it up to let the uh, vacuum get a little bit deeper from leading down to the turbo pump. Uh, down here is the turbo pump, turbo molecular pump that leads to a Alcatel roughing pump, and then the power sources down there. I, uh, you guys saw those in the other video, so I won't bore you with those. Um, we have the cold cathode pressure readout right here. We have the turbo molecular uh, pump readout here to give all the statistics of how uh, fast the pump is running and things like that. And then we have a uh, Genco thermometer that tells the temperature of the stock leading into the fuser um, doesn't usually get too hot, so it's not an issue. The stainless steel walls on here are thick enough to uh, prevent any x-rays from leaving the actual chamber if, the, um, if there are any incident x-rays, uh, as well with the viewports. So the only danger is the neutron radiation coming out, which will not be an issue since I will be isolated in a different part of the, um, different part of the building. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll have a fusion video up, or my first attempt tomorrow, and have a very good day.